So, short overview of our study. The aim of this research was to explore how the Twitter data is used in, 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 in certain project, project contexts. And especially now we had the case of uh, uh, organizing a conference, CMAR in, in Finland. And uh, we tried to visualize informal learning behavior from, from the conference participants' Twitter data. So the context actually was the community of practice and uh, this, this, we have to remember this, that these people were already very much uh, involved in using Twitter and they were tweeting uh, using Twitter. So to generalize this to a whole, whole population is not possible. But what we are trying to, to convince here is that this Twitter uh, or similar similar tool can be used as a booster for uh, informal learning. In theoretical discussion, we were, uh, we were uh, discussing concepts of informal and formal learning. And in the paper, uh, we are introducing activity theory based expansive learning, internal and external memory aids, which are also involved with this motivation to learn. And uh, the context is this community of practice. So I am coming from the knowledge management. Uh, um, discipline and uh, I have studied actually organizational learning in business to business situations from uh, the perspective of small and medium sized companies. And uh, therefore, we are trying to, to, to find how to utilize this, this kind of uh, phenomena in, in this business uh, area also. Shortly about this, uh, about this theories. Informal learning, uh, according to our, our friends Tomo Palapore and Lindras, they put it rather, rather nicely that, it's, uh, that informal learners usually set their own learning objectives. They learn when they feel they need to know something, and uh, the proof of their learning is that they have a new ability or knowledge or uh, something like that. It's all, all, it's fragmented, so you are asking questions, share your stories with others, and some casual conversation, and this is something we can, we can do in the social media in general. Now, what about activity theory? Uh, according to sociocultural, historical activity theory, activity theory, there has to be a triggering action such as, for example, conflict or questioning of, of, the, of, of the existing standards, norms or situation in the organization, for example, in this case now in this uh, project of uh, creating a, a conference to generate expansive learning in this organization. So this ex expansive learning and judge produces culturally new patterns of activity, new ways to do, do the work, new way, way, ways to, to proceed. This is the real instance on here. So in Twitter communities there is freedom to be critical and in social media as such. In other words, individuals tend to criticize in, in a social media, as you know, it's also a negative uh, aspect, but you can actually use it also to, to make changes happen in your community or in your organization. So it can be a triggering, uh, triggering let's say, environment. And thirdly, the important thing is that in order to learn, also in informal learning, you need to have a motive to learn. And Butler has uh, introduced the idea that there are several uh, different stages in motivation. So first you are ignorant, then comes awareness, understanding, commitment, management, and afterwards reflections, which is evening, really your motivation to learn. So in, 
in the in, in the result part of the paper, we are we are we are uh, trying to find out that uh, assess that how does learning motivation stages differ in online and face-to-face -face situation before, during, and after conference. So using uh, only only to, to make it uh, make sense why to use Twitter or some social media in 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 a, in a project <coughs> that it sort of uh, open your eyes uh, before the actual actual uh, act of conference. So ignorance and awareness can be already covered beforehand. And on the other hand, which is important, that the reflection can be taken also afterwards online, which creates the, uh, let's say, which nurtures the informal learning. So these were, these were uh, kind of the things we we were looking from this data. Top five hashtags, for example, were were collected, and then there was a hashtag matrix. People were tweeting during two weeks before and before the before the. Uh, before the conference, and these are these are certain certain subject areas they were discussing, and also these colors are sort of sort of telling that this was uh, more dense discussion than than the lighter one. So we find seven different uh, uh, let's say subjects <coughs> which which were more or less intensively tweeted. Then there were some outlayers. Uh, about the topics which were not that important for the, for the whole community or the big picture. Uh, and this is the interactive visualization. You can go and see them online also. And what about this? What can you figure out from this kind of thing? Uh, people can use those who have a similar interest in the network and share knowledge but for the organizations, organizations, say, say organizers, this can give a clue how to, for example, make the teams or uh, arrange tables or or have have a discussion groups and generate a fruitful discussions, so to say, informal learning uh, environments. So to conclude. We have a few propositions. So we propose that discussion in social media network can perform as a virtual informal collaborative learning environment. And secondly, physical informal learning environments can be built based on information gained from the interactive discussion and the, the, and, and, and the data. From, from the social media behavior. And thirdly, before even virtual discussion can increase the motivation to learn informally. So the motivation is already created before before the conference, for example. For example, because this could be the next step is to find out that could this be utilized in the business, the business context in a real Real project life, for example. <coughs> so here are our contacts. Uh, I am in Twitter. I'm also in LinkedIn and Facebook, and I'm more than happy to, to share share this with you. Yari is available if you have further questions concerning our paper. And finally, acknowledgments to the founder of this. <coughs> This, this project where we have gathered this information. This is, by the way, a shot which I had last Sunday when I was in the woods. <laughs> I was really this close to the year, and it was really one of one of the lifetime moments. So, so hopefully we have similar moments here. 